What is happening, gang? Why am I in my truck today? Well, I had to fix something that happens to many people on the road, especially when it's winter. Things start melting, things start getting in the road, and it happens. But I think we've corrected the problem, and I wanted to show you what I did. So stay tuned. I'm just driving down the road. No problems. Taking my son to hockey practice. And boot, boot, boot. One of my tires has lost 10 pounds of air. I had about a couple miles to go. It seemed like it was holding steady, so I continued to drive those last couple miles. Practice was like an hour and a half. Come out expecting to see a flat tire and having to deal with that. It wasn't flat, it was still holding. It's still about 10 PSI under what it should be at, but it's holding. I got about a 10 mile ride home. I said, you know what, I think I can, I can make it. So, I had to fix that and I've never done it before. So, today we're gonna show you guys how to do it. So I ended up picking up a kit from Amazon. This one happens to be made by uh, Rhino USA. It's a 14 piece set. So let's go ahead and get cutting it open and see what we got. One thing that was a little strange about this case is that it had opened from the left side instead of like a book opening from the right side. So that was a little, little different. I wasn't uh, too sure what to think about that. Came with some stickers. The plug tool uh, that you insert in your tire with those rubber plugs to fill the hole, some rubber cement, a box cutter. It also came with a standard tire pressure gauge along with a reaming tool. So it looked like I had everything I needed. So here's my tire. This is what we've got. So the first step that we needed to do was to take out the offending nail or screw, whichever it was. At this point, I didn't really know exactly what it was. I could not get it out with a standard set of pliers, so I had to use some diagonal cutters. This allowed me to get under the screw head in order to pry it up out of my tire. It's important to note that as soon as I got this thing out, it starts to lose air, so you need to be ready with the reaming tool to plug that hole. And as you can see, I'm plugging that in right now just to kind of keep the, whatever air was left in there. And there's our little offensive screw, the little teen, teeny little thing, must have barely went through. So now what you want to do is get a little bit of rubber cement and use it as like lubricant for this reaming tool. Now you had to puncture a hole in the end of it in order to open up the tube. And here I just squirted a little bit around the hole just to kind of help that reaming tool uh, get all the way through the tire. Um, it's sort of like a file and you just use it to round out the hole and make it uh, at least easier or larger to get the um, tire plug in. I did not take the tire off of the truck. I, I could have, um, but I was able to, I had enough room to get that reaming tool in, twist it around, push it in and out, and uh, it seemed to work fairly good. It was a little bit difficult, but it wasn't too bad. So I'd gotten that reaming tool to go you know, in and out of the tire a few times. I felt like I had a good 
uh, hole created. So what you're going to want to do then is get the little plugs, which are really like a sticky piece of rubber. And you're going to use the, uh, the other tool that they included in the kit. You're going to pass the plug through the tool and you're going to want to put it in oh, about halfway. You'll notice that I'm getting this ready prior to removing the reaming tool because I did not want to let any more air out. I got some rubber cement and I coated the plug with that rubber cement because not only will it help it kind of get into the, um, the hole that I've reamed but also to adhere to the tire and make a better seal so that no air would escape once I filled it back up. So I'm going to remove the reaming tool here and I've got my plug ready to go. And this was, uh, this was a little bit difficult. Um, really had to get some leverage on it in order to push it into the, the hole. Um, but what you're going to want to do is continue to push it until, you know, there's very little of those ends sticking out. So once I fought with it a little bit, and got it into where I thought it was a good plug for the tire and went ahead and you just pull out that tool and it releases the plug. Uh, it looked like a good seal. I took the box cutter that was included in the kit and just cut off the ends just to kind of clean it up. Um, you don't have to do that. Um, the ground as you're running your tires will grind that down but I did just to make it cleaner. Then I went ahead and filled air back in the tire. Last but not least, guys, we want to go ahead and take it for a test drive just to make sure that uh, the tire holds up. So currently, all my tires are at 34. It's cold out. They should be about 36, I think. So let's do it. good 34 all around and this is after driving for about 10 minutes on the road as you can see all four of my tires are at the same pressure 35 which should be pretty close it is cold out so it's going to be lower than normal but I drove it around for 10 minutes it seems to be holding air and I'm going to call this fix good so if you guys need to ever fix a tire uh, in a pinch, you can get one of these little kits. I'm gonna keep it in my car and it will help you out to get out of a jam, even if it's just uh, an emergency fix to get a new tire later. Take care guys.